Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. Short episode today. Um, going to go into Costco because I heard that the 2022 Pelican Mission 100s have arrived. Um, and as we always do, I want to do a quick review of the current price and also the features of that kayak. So I'm going to go see if they're in the store. And if they are, I'll give you guys a quick review of what they look like this year and what the price is. So let's go shopping. All right, you guys. So this year's version of the Pelican Mission 100 kayak is back at Costco, currently retailing here in Canada for $399.99. Um, I will say that if you wait a couple months, these typically go down by $50, and so you can usually get them for $350. Uh, the model this year looks similar to last year's model, so the, the 2022 version is still the blue Pelican Mission 100. Um, you look at the features that come in the box, it looks similar to what's been there before. You still get uh, the paddle, the kayak, you still get the, the, the paddle clip on the side. Um, it's got the car carrier, which is not the greatest from my experience. And you have um, the cockpit on the front with a mesh cover on the back. One, notice, one thing that I did notice that's a little bit different is the interior of this kayak is white. And the previous version of the Pelican Mission 100 that was blue like this had a black interior, which um, probably hid the dirt very well, but um, was probably very, very hot in the summertime. Unfortunately, they don't have one out right at the moment. They usually do, but this is the back end of the kayak. You can see that mesh carrying case on the back. And uh, on the front end, sticking out over here um, you can't tell very much so unfortunately I can't film very much about the uh, kayaks themselves because they usually have a floor model sitting out but again if you guys want the features again this is the Costco Pelican Mission 100 kayak um, you can see all the features here it is uh, just over three meters long or ten feet long and uh, the width of the cockpit here, 25 inches. Um, the weight of the kayak is 40 pounds and the maximum capacity is 300 pounds. Still got that uh, triple um, extra wide hull for stability. These are pretty stable kayaks. And uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same version that you guys have seen many times before. So there you go, that is the 2022 Pelican Mission 100 kayak from Costco. They are in stock. As I said, they will likely go on sale a little later, but given how quick these things sold out last year, they may not make it to sale. There you go. Okay, I wanted to jump in here for a minute and just provide some context. For those of you that are new to the channel, you might be wondering why is Sean talking about uh, kayaks from Costco. Um, and you may also be wondering, where the heck is he? <laughs> so let me start with that one first. I am currently sitting downstairs in our basement in our games room. Um, we've got some new lighting because the lighting down here is horrible. And uh, this is where we will be setting up our studio for things that we want to do in house. Haven't got a backdrop set up yet, but that will be coming. And so in future videos, when we do unboxings or, or um, mail calls, we'll be doing them from here. On the kayak piece, the reason we are putting up this video about the kayaks returning to Costco is um, because for those of you who are new, that's actually how we started our channel. When we decided to start our channel, we didn't know what kind of boats we were going to use. We knew we wanted a boat and it had to be a relatively small boat because I don't have a hitch on our vehicle. Uh, originally I thought about getting a John boat actually with a trolling motor on it and that was the idea for the longest time. And then one day we were at Costco and we saw these Pelican Mission 100 kayaks. Right there we decided, nope, we're going to, go, we're going to do kayak fishing, um, but keep in mind that Back in 2019, when we started the channel, neither Kieran nor I had ever done much fishing from a boat. 
Um, we had definitely never fished from a kayak and we had never really been fishing much in Alberta. So all of it was a brand new experience for us and we didn't want to go spend a whole bunch of money if we weren't going to be able to do it well or even figure out how to do it. So the Pelican Mission 100s from Costco were a great alternative. They were cheap, uh, they were easy to haul around and they could be easily modified for fishing equipment. And so that's exactly what we did and that's why we keep uh, doing these reviews of when they come out at Costco. So I wanted to take a minute here, if you're particularly if you're new to the channel, to direct you to a few of those videos that we did early on specifically about the Pelican Mission 100 kayaks. I will be putting links up in the corner so you can follow those links if you're interested. And I will also put a picture up on the side here of some of the episodes that we did. So one of those first episodes that was important was us tricking out our Pelican missions uh, with all the fishing gear. Uh, that was episode two way back in 2019. And uh, we, we were able to pick up some equipment and modify our kayaks for our fishing setup. Uh, another popular video about the Pelican Mission 100 is our top five add-ons for the Pelican Mission. In fact, I think that's our most popular video of all time, uh, where we talk about some things that we put into the kayak when we go out kayak fishing. Uh, we also have another video um, on the top five fishing add-ons for our Pelican Mission 100. That was one I did last year. and. Uh, uh, it basically focuses on some of the things that we've learned after the first year of fishing in the Pelican Mission 100. Um, we also have our Building a Kayak Storage Shed, which is also another popular video for our Pelican Mission 100s. And uh, that was to modify the storage for these because we were keeping them under our deck and it was difficult to get in and on, uh, out of there. So we built a storage shed on the side of our house. Um, and then lastly, we've got a video where we go over our complete fishing setup for the Pelican Mission 100 in detail, including all the things we added, uh, and also talk a little bit about uh, some of the things like the uh, Garmin Striker 4 that we added, but basically we just go over the entire setup. So, uh, you can find links to all of those videos I just mentioned below in the description, but also up in the corner. And for those of you that are interested in seeing what the Pelican Mission 100 can do, uh, there's lots of information there on our channel. The last thing I will say about this before we return to uh, me standing outside of a Costco is um, they have been working fantastic. We are now going into year three of using these things for open water fishing. Uh, so far, they have performed extremely well. They're stable. They, uh, you can catch fish in them, no problem. Even some large fish and they get you into areas where some of the boats can't get to, which is even a, an added benefit. Of course, it's got a limit in terms of the range, but uh, we've loved using them, and I'm even contemplating whether or not I should pick up an extra one, just in case something ever happens to one of our current Pelican missions. So, there you go. That's the background and the context about why I'm making this video, and uh, let's get back to Sean in a Costco parking lot. All right, everybody, uh, a little challenging here filming in a Costco parking lot, so we're getting interrupted a lot. But uh, just wanted to give the, you guys that quick review. The Pelican Mission 100s are in. Um, they have arrived, and uh, that means that you guys can go pick them up. It is a little early, as I said. It's February, and so they're starting to stock that stuff. But um, they will go fast. Uh, I don't know if this year is going to be like last year, but when they came in last year, they sold out almost instantly. So uh, if you're looking to get one, they're there. Uh, hopefully they will go on sale a little bit later and that they've stocked up a little bit more this year. Um, and you'll be able to get one when you want one. So that's the review. That's going to do it for this episode. Uh, remember guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, good fishing.